triple point of ammonia. The vapor pressure P bar in millimeter mercury of solid ammonia is given by natural logarithm P bar 23.03 minus 3754 over T, while that of liquid ammonia is given by 19.49 minus 3663 over T. Use this information to answer the following questions. What is the temperature of the triple point of ammonia, latent heats of sublimation, vaporization at the triple point, and latent heat of melting at the triple point? So let's start with uh, part A. Uh, first of all, at the triple point, uh, we must have the same uh, pressures and temperatures so we will have uh, p bar of the liquid state will be equal to p bar of the solid state will be equal to p bar of the gas state so we must have 23.03 minus 3754 over t equal to at the triple point uh, tc let's call it 19.49 minus 3063 over TC. So we find that this is 23.03 minus 19.449 is equal to 3754 minus 3063 divided by TC. So this gives us for the critical temperature um, 691 divided by 3.54 which is roughly 195 Kelvin so this is the temperature at the triple point part B uh, <clears throat> latent heats of sublimation vaporization of ammonia at the triple point uh, so we have the clausius clapeyron equation dp bar dt in the uh, phase diagram uh, at the phase boundary must be equal to change in entropy uh, divided by change in volume per mole so this is our uh, clausius clapeyron equation so uh, the change in entropy is uh, the heat absorbed divided by T uh, which is the uh, latent heat uh, from phase 1 to phase 2 divided by uh, temperature uh, T per mole of the material let's say so we will have then dp bar dt equals to L12 divided by T delta V. So this is actually Q over T delta V. And at the triple point, of course, this temperature will be TC. So this will be uh, L12. I'm going to call uh, the phase transition from um, liquid to gas so it's latent heat of uh, vaporization let's say and in this case uh, the first state is uh, liquid the second state is vapor and delta V is V2 minus V1 is approximately equal to V2 because V2 is much greater than V1 so the same thing will apply if I have a sublimation as well. Uh, so delta V for sublimation will also be equal to V2. So let's continue with this. dP bar dT is equal to L12 over T V2 approximately. And we have pressure times the volume in the vapor phase is equal to RT for one mole. So we're considering everything per mole so v2 is equal to rt divided by the pressure p bar so we can substitute this uh, to obtain 
the following equation, then we would have uh, L12 over R, so dP bar dt would be equal to L12 over T for V2, I substitute RT divided by P bar. So this will be uh, dP bar dt is equal to L12 over RT square. So uh, I would have uh, L12 is equal to RT square times the derivative with respect to temperature of P bar. Now, if this is a vaporization, I'm going from a liquid state to uh, the gas phase. Uh, L12 is equal to latent heat of vaporization. And it will be equal to RTC square at the triple point. The derivative with respect to uh, so because I had P bar here, so this is uh, RT square uh, P bar on top. So this will be um, 1 over P bar DDT of P bar, which is RT square, the temperature derivative of natural logarithm of P bar. So I'm using the, the one for the liquids phase, 19.49 minus 3063 over uh, T. So that gives me RTC squared multiplied with uh, the derivative with respect to temperature 3063 over TC squared. So these temperatures will cancel. So I will find uh, 3063 R which is 3063 times 8.316 joules per mole kelvin that is the universal gas constant so i find the latent heat of vaporization to be uh, 2.55 10 to 4 joules per mole and if i have a sublimation uh, for sublimation, I would have uh, the first phase is solid, second phase is vapor. <coughs> and for this one, <coughs> I would have L sublimation equals to RTC square DDT of... Uh, 23.03 minus 3754 over uh, T and this will give me also 3754 R because the uh, T squares will cancel RTC square times 3754 over TC square these TC squares will cancel and this will give me uh, 3.12 10 to 4 uh, joules per mole as the latent heat of sublimation. So the story for the volume V2 being much greater than V1 also applies uh, from solid to gas phase the gas phase volume is much larger so we can still use this approximation so the sublimation uh, latent heat of sublimation is uh, this value so in part C I want to know the latent heat of melting so uh, if I go from a solid to a liquid I have latent heat of melting if I go from liquid to gas i have latent heat of vaporization if i go from solid directly to gas i have 
latent heat of sublimation and from energy conservation I must have a latent heat of uh, melting plus latent heat of vaporization equals to latent heat of sublimation. This is energy conservation. So therefore I'm going to find that the latent heat of uh, melting is the difference between the two. Uh, it is 3.12 minus 2.55 uh, so the latent heat of melting, this times 10 to 4, will be equal to 0 0.57 10 to 4 joules per mole.